Let me show you exactly how to make a YouTube thumbnail with Photoshop without any technical skills, just like the one you see right here. Now there are a bunch of apps and websites on the web for creating thumbnails, but Photoshop is by far the most dominant and most big and prominent YouTubers use Photoshop to make their thumbnails because you could just do so much more advanced stuff that other apps just don't allow you to do. But for that same reason, a lot of people avoid Photoshop because they think it's too complicated. But in this video, I'll make it very simple for you and walk you step by step on how to use it. And I'll show you how to use templates so you don't actually have to design anything from scratch. So two things you need in order to make this thumbnail. One is the template and the other one is obviously Photoshop, which I have open here, but I'll show you where you could get Photoshop for free for a seven day free trial. I'll put a link below to this website. This is from Adobe, the company that makes Photoshop and they give you a full version of Photoshop for seven days to try on hoping you'll stick around and use it more and more. So if you wanna test it out to see if this is a good method for you, there's the link for Photoshop. And the other thing I wanna show you is this template here that I used to make this exact thumbnail. And that's from this other platform called Envato Elements and they're sponsoring this video. And if you've never heard of Envato Elements, basically you could get unlimited things for YouTube. So you could get your thumbnail design, you could get stock video, you could get stock photos, you could get music. They have everything you will ever need for your YouTube channel and video creation. And it's completely unlimited, meaning you could download as much as you want. You will never get into copyright issues with YouTube because this will give you the license to use anything from music to photos to videos. So if you click the link in the description, you could again launch this website and you could just type in the search bar YouTube thumbnails. And right here on the graphics template, I'm gonna see more. And these are all the different templates that you could download and customize using Photoshop. Find one that relatively looks like something that you want as your thumbnail. So the one I chose was this one right here, this blue one, and I made some customization to it. I highly recommend you don't start designing in Photoshop from scratch. It's far too complicated and it takes a lot of years of design to make something really professional. So once you find it, go ahead and click on it and you could go ahead and download it. Now, this is a subscription platform, but again, you get lots of different things for a monthly fee. So you could again, try it out if you wanna follow this path. And I'm gonna close this and open up the version that is not edited at all. So this is what I downloaded. It comes with just this one download, comes with five different thumbnails. So I'm gonna find a YouTube thumbnail I like the most, which in this case was this one. And I just double click it. And as long as I have Photoshop installed, it's going to open up this document in Photoshop. Now, let me show you just exactly how this works. If you come to this very bottom corner right here, these are called layers. So this is how Photoshop works. Basically, things stack on top of each other as layers. So the highest level here, this text layer, is going to show up at the very top, right? On top of everything else. So if you think of it as layers, every layer could be turned off. So here, if I click this eyeball, it's gonna turn off the text layer. The icons, these are the little corner icons here, is going to turn off those. So I'm gonna turn those off actually, it doesn't make sense for this. This here, the silhouette of a person, I could go ahead and turn that off as well. And then the elements are some of these background options. And I could always click on something like this chapter one, maybe doesn't make sense. And I could just go ahead and delete it like that. So the very first thing I do with these templates is I remove a couple of different things that I don't want, right? So I just either click the eyeball or press delete on my keyboard. But then all I have to do is double click here to change this text to what I want. So YouTube, and I'm gonna press enter, thumbnail tutorial is what I'm gonna type out. And that's pretty much all I need to do with text, unless I wanna change the text size and style. So I'm gonna select all this text here. And as you see up here, every time when you select something, it's gonna let you actually change it. So I could, increase the font size. So let's say I wanna make this bigger, or let me type in 70 points for this. This is typically a good font size for YouTube videos. And I need to change that alignment. You see how it's crushed together? Well, this option right here, if you click this option, you could change basically the separation between the lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase that. That's this right here. So around 60 points, I think, is what I use, 60. And I'm gonna press the check mark. And as long as you have the move tool, let me hide myself to show you, this is the move tool right here. You could grab something and move it around, okay? So I just selected the move tool and move this to where I want, let's say over here. 
Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add my own picture, right? Because it says your image here. We don't want this, obviously. We want own, our own picture. Now, this is one of the greatest powers of Photoshop because it lets you remove the background. So let me open up an image here. I just have a screenshot. I basically pose when I'm recording the video. I pose for a thumbnail and I just take a screenshot of it. You could always even take a picture with your phone and open it with Photoshop. So here's the screenshot I have right here. I'm just going to go ahead and right click on it and open with Photoshop here. And the one thing I want to show you how to do, which is a bit more advanced, is actually removing the background. OK, because when you remove the background, it looks a lot nicer on a YouTube thumbnail. So let me hide myself here. And this is how simple it is to remove a background. Come over here to the left side and there's an option over here. It's called Quick Selection Tool. Change this by holding down on it and go to Object Selection Tool. OK, so you want it to look like this. I'm going to just extend this out. This is what this tool looks like, Object Selection Tool. And all you have to do is press Select Subject up here, this right here. And then I just have to press Command J if I'm on a Mac or Control J if I'm on a PC. OK, and then you see I have two layers now on this side. I turn one off. There we go. I just removed the background. I'm going to choose the Move tool again. OK, now I'm going to take this layer. I'm going to drop it on top of that other project file. So I'll bring it here and I'll just drop it right over here. OK, you see that? Now all I have to do is again, I'm going to hold Shift and I'm going to make this smaller. If you don't hold Shift, sometimes it's going to squeeze it. I'm going to just place it kind of where I want. So let's say over here. I'm going to just go ahead and hold Shift again and make this bigger something like this and press the check mark right and you can move this around wherever you want as long as it doesn't cover the text if it does select the text and move the text kind of out of the way here now i did change some of these colors too so you could select anything like this the text and there's a color option right here so if you select this one you could for example make this red right so i'll make this red you could select this one here and maybe i want to make this blue so you would choose blue here and choose a shade of blue you like and press OK. And I'm going to press the check mark up here and I'll show you one more thing here. You see this background slash here, this blue one. I could select this blue option right here. OK, and I could double click on it right here in this empty section. And it gives me something called color overlay. So if I check this on, OK, I'm going to select it, check it on. You could change the color of any of the things you see in the background. So I could make it darker or I could make it lighter. I'll just change it to the same color as this blue and I'll press OK. So this is another thing you could do here with changing colors of different shapes. And the last thing I'll show you here is saving this so you could actually use it as a YouTube thumbnail. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Export and I'm going to go to Export As. So that's how you really save it for YouTube. Then here, all you want to do is you want to make sure it's JPEG. The image size, if you use the template, should be 1920 by 1080. So this already knows that. I don't have to type anything. So basically, all I have to do is make sure this is a JPEG. It can be a PNG also. But if I choose JPEG, I could choose export. I could just choose my desktop here. OK, YouTube thumbnail. I'll name it YouTube thumbnail and press save. And now if I go to my desktop, this is the JPEG right here. What I just saved from Photoshop and I could add it to my YouTube video. And that's how you make a YouTube thumbnail in Photoshop. And I hope you found it useful and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.